Okay, so in this question, we have a, a bunch of test scores on a, on a first test and on a second test, and we're going to run a uh, regression here. And uh, I'm going to assume that Excel is not working, so or, or that you prefer Sheets for whatever reason. So let's go ahead and copy that data to the clipboard and then open up Sheets, just open up a new sheet. And then we can go ahead and uh, paste this data here. So, um, yeah, if, if you don't know how to cut and paste, be sure to let me know. That's something that's pretty important um, just for general purposes also. Uh, Control-C, Control-V works well on a PC. Uh, on a Mac, you need to use Command instead, Command or Control. Um, so next thing we want to do is go to add-ons. We want this Excel Miner Analysis Toolpack. So if you don't already have that, you're going to click on Get Add-ons. And in the search, you're going to just type in XLM or something until it comes up. And then you'll, you'll click on it, and you'll have to go through a couple of things to install it. Uh, and then, then you should be able to have it. Once you have it, you go to your add-ons. Go to Excel Miner Analysis Toolpack and start. And then here we're going to roll down to linear regression. And the way that Sheets works, you select the data first and then click in the cell and it, it fills it in. So here I'm going to select all my Y. This is what we're trying to predict, the Y, W-H-Y, of why we're doing the, the regression. So we select that and click there. Then we do the same thing for the, the X values. Notice I include the label there click and then I check the box labels because when I was selecting I I included that label and then we can maybe uh, click anywhere out here it doesn't matter where and just click in for output range that's where we're gonna see the the results uh, so a few things we can grab from this um, one is we can get the remember residual is the same as error uh, and this SS is sum of squared so right there is our sum of squared errors. Let me make that a little bigger here. Okay. And then our regression equation is coming in with these two, these two coefficients right here. So this is our intercept. This is the one that's not attached to the x variable. And this is our slope. This is the one that's going to be attached to the first test grade. So this would give us the equation of, um, let's say, predicted second test equals 39.63 plus 0 0.42. There's our slope times first test grade. So for the, the question here, um, this initial this beta zero here is our intercept so that's going to be the 39 point let's see how much today four decimal places 39.6335 so type that 39.6335 and here we need the slope so that's going to be our 0.4299 down there 0.4299 and that's all that we need to put on this one. So we'll just submit that. Okay. And then if we wanted to make, um, uh, I guess we can interpret what the coefficient of the first test grade in the model. Uh, so that is really talking about this slope here. What does that 0.429 means? It means as every additional unit on that we get on the first test grade, is going to increase our predicted uh, our prediction for the second test grade by this many points. So for each, and and we would have increase, not decrease, because it was a positive. So that's why we would put put increase there. Okay.